What's up, everybody? Ben Rezzi here for uh, Chopper. I'm back. It is Saturday, March 30th. We're getting to April, but before that, we got more college basketball to talk about. Elite matchups, the Elite Eight, Final Fours on the line, and we're going to put a bet on the board. I want to welcome you to Hot Chopper. All things betting from college basketball. Baseball's in full swing. We've got basketball, whatever you like. Check it out. If you like what you see, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We're in a groove here. Let's keep it steady. We're on a nice win streak. We've not lost this week on this video. Getting the bounces. Purdue yesterday was just better. Uh, it kind of played out how we thought. Those 40% free throw for three point shooters really made the difference. And we're going to try to keep that going. Hopefully, you were here, you were tailing, you were doing some good things. I've got Odd Chopper actually on the screen right now. Uh, just brought up our, our market based tools. Again, this is the type of stuff. If you're seeing these screens and wondering, what is it showing you? What is EV? What is OS rating? How can I use this to be profitable? Again, we can teach you. This is a process that I use every day. Picks, Discord tools, all in one package. Come check it out. Come in for the week. You can use that code as well. It is available for you. The link is in the description of this video. At least take a minute or two to read about it uh, if it's something you think could help your process. Now, let's get to the board. We've got two huge games today. I, I honestly think I have an angle in both of them, but I am going to the second game. And I am going with Alabama. My guys, my Crimson Tide. Not that I really root for them, but I'm adopting them today. Uh, three and a half at minus 105. You can search. There are some threes out there. You may have to lay a little too much juice. To me, this is the number. Uh, minus 166 on the money line. That's not bad, honestly. But let's talk about Alabama. Uh, and let's talk about Clemson. So I want to get Alabama out of the way, actually. Not because of anything bad, but Alabama to me has been the same all year. They have flashes of brilliance, and then they play terrible. For stretches and that didn't speak to me particularly in a tournament setting because it's single elimination and what happens when you have one of those games but they kind of and not that you get to choose but they kind of structured it nicely they had that game against grand canyon and they were able to survive uh they played well against north carolina watched the game from start to finish sears was awesome as he normally was but late it was brock nelson fantastic uh just absolutely unreal and alabama is a deep team there's no about no doubt about it. Grant Nelson, by the way, not Brock Nelson, but Grant Nelson was fantastic. The North Dakota State transfer. Alabama's got bodies. They shoot 30 plus threes a game. High variance. We know that that's their style. But if they get contributions from Nelson, Estrada and co, we'll see if they can get a little healthier. Uh, you know, they, they were missing a key guy. With Sears there, uh, it's right in front of them. Listen, they're favorite now. They were underdog to North Carolina. They're the rightful favorite in this spot. Alabama is going to do what they do. Uh, again, they want to play crazy fast. They want to shoot a ton of threes. 164 and a half point total says it all. But to me, this is about Clemson. Clemson has come out of nowhere and is just doing work. There is no team, in my opinion, that had a tougher road. They beat New Mexico, who was a super dangerous 11 seed. Say what you want about the Mountain West. They knocked off Baylor. And then they played Arizona. Uh, and again, Arizona's got their issues. They really do. But it's a talented bunch. Clemson has answered the challenge. They're playing much better defense. Offensively, you've got Hall on the interior. They've got guards. They've got experience. But there's always a but. They are either the best three-point defense I've ever seen, which they are not, uh, or they're running ridiculously hot in three-point percentage in terms of opponents. So New Mexico, three of 23 from three. Baylor, a really good shooting Baylor team, six of 24 from three. Arizona, a good three point shooting team as well, five for 28, 14 of 75 for the tournament in Clemson's opponents from three. That's like 18%. Awful, horrendous, not sustainable. Uh, does that mean that Alabama flips it? No, they could shoot three of 32. Uh, who knows, like Marquette did. But Clemson, no doubt, is running ridiculously hot in three-point defense. They were a fine three-point defense during the year. Nothing like this. Nobody's like this. Uh, and I do think there's some room for regression there. So that is the one thing that when I dug, kind of solidified my position. I liked Alabama to begin with. I think they can do some things uh, tempo-wise that are, are going to put a lot of pressure on Clemson. And if they shoot a normal clip, we'll see what Clemson's made of. Because when you're holding opponents to 3 of 23, 6 of 24, 5 of 28, it's a hell of a lot easier to win these games. Give me Alabama minus three at minus 105 over on DraftKings. Now, if you want to play for the other game, if you have questions about anything else, hit me up on Twitter at JazzRazDFS. Find me in our Discord as well. And last thing for me, as always, 
five into 150 over at Bet365. If you're fortunate enough to be in Arizona or Indiana, Iowa, North Carolina, New Jersey, Colorado, Louisiana, Ohio, Virginia, or Kentucky, there's 150 in bonus bets waiting for you. Link is below. Obviously, completely up to you, but it's always good to be aware of the promos out there. You do have to be 21 plus, 18 in Kentucky. If you have a gambling problem, call 1 800 Gambler. Great, great day of sports. Really looking forward to it. Hope we can keep the streak going here on this very video, but appreciate everyone tuning in as always. Let's see if Alabama punches their ticket to the final four, as I think they will tonight. For me, for Clemson, and for Alabama, enjoy the games, enjoy the day. Talk to you guys tomorrow.